Hello everyone and welcome back to another Space Engineers Let's Build Fast Speed Build Thing Majigger. Anyway, today we're gonna be working on a modular home slash outpost slash building of some kind. Uh, we're gonna start out with I believe the bedroom. Yeah, the bedroom. Uh, we're gonna use the bed that we made. We're gonna use a lot of the modules we made in other videos. So that will be in a playlist with this on the channel, and also you can just search them up. I believe they're speed builds of the same name. So just search the name and you should find them. Uh, we're going to do, I think we're doing a bedroom and kitchen, a bathroom, and an airlock. So we're going to have the ability to put these on atmospheric or, or non-atmospheric planets, or asteroids, or whatever you want to put a base on. Um, I am planning to expand the tile set or the room set, I suppose, in future episodes. I don't know if it will be the next one or if we're just going to finish up this one because I ended up not with enough time to uh, finish off all the details. So uh, we do a double door between the kitchen and the bedroom. I don't know if that's going to stay. Um, and this is the airlock. I did want to make sure to differentiate the solid door as the outside door and the door with the window as the in interior doors. Um, it's kind of very version one. And by that I mean it's kind of, the concept is there, but the modeling, the texturing, and the exact blocks aren't all finalized. Um, I did do a lot of refiguring later on the bathroom to make it just functional to where you can walk into it. Uh, the table in the kitchen's kind of in the way a lot. Um, we are, there's just a lot of just horrible things that happen with this thing. Um, painting one of them that the colors just didn't work right when we get to that. So here we're working on the bathroom. We put the toilet and the sink in from previous, I believe we built this in a video. I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure we did. And I ended up p pulling it out of the one side and then putting it in the opposite side, but in a different setup. And we actually ripped this out later and put it in somewhere else. But it, it all kind of works out, and we're just kind of getting closer to that version of this building where we can take a room, and we'll be able to just take like a bathroom and stick it onto a building, and then we'll cut out the uh, holes for windows and doors. It's a shame we don't have any like privacy glass in this game. That might be something that I look for on the workshop. If you guys know of any like privacy glass-like mods, definitely put them in the comments. Getting a shelf, which we actually shrink down later. And we have the desk and stuff. I didn't really know how to sell the kind of working bedroom a lot. Uh, I'm going to go look at different inspirations again to try and nail that down. It feel, the bedroom feels a bit big as well compared to the rest of everything. But th this is the point of the whole outpost is that there's a work outpost and then there's this. So this is me testing out kind of the flow of the building and how it all lays out and so this outpost would be in addition to let's say a mining outpost and you'd go out of this one into that one to go work for the day this goes horribly I actually didn't show up much on uh, much on the video but I ended up deleting the entire platform not just the building so now that we have most of everything done, I wasted a lot of time just kind of thinking about how I was going to proceed, whether I do anything, and I ended up just kind of throwing in windows and hoping for the best. I did slightly reconfigure the windows a bit. It was it's really hard to get a wall piece that would be good enough for every wall, and I ended up just making each wall unique just because there was stuff in the way, such as the bed on the other side, and the kitchen just doesn't have any bare space, which makes it really dark. But I ended up putting a window near the table anyway. And so it was really hard to get the windows to look right, and they still don't look right. That's one of the things that I'm going to need to do either in a later video or between them and just show it off in a later video. Either way.
So that little corner bit was kind of an attempt to make the windows not look so odd and the room not look so square. Um, there is still a little bit more on the outside we do to make it not look so square on the outside by kind of cornering off the roof pieces all except for where two corners intersect. And here's the, this is, I mean, we end up kind of changing where some of those squares are, especially on the doorway. But I do like how everything uh, came together in it looks like separate rooms, except for the airlock, which needs to kind of be closer. Also, we did this kind of uh, divot. And I believe we also did something else on the roof. I forget what it was. Uh, so here's the little kitchen window. It's above there. And the table is actually built from a mod that inverts the placement of screens. So you actually place them from the face instead of from the back. And this is where we impressed or pushed in the uh, both sink and the uh, toilet. Now we're rounding off the bottom corner to make it look not so awkward. But it still looks, this looks okay. Pilling on the bits we don't want to see. I spent a weird amount of time with this. I guess I just didn't pay attention to what the toilet was, but it turned out okay. But I had to put a little more bits on the inside than planned just to get across the idea that it was a toilet, not just a speaker in the room. And that's kind of what you need to do, especially when you don't have a lot of detailing shapes. You need to not only use your environment, but also as much shape, even if the shape doesn't make sense. Like, it is a toilet, and you can understand that because it's not only impressed into the wall where it would lose its shape, but it, you pushed the shape back out of the wall. So now we're going through and doing lighting. I probably shouldn't have done the lighting, but I did for some reason. I was just kind of losing, losing a lot of inspiration for the structure of it. What I should have done is textured the floors because that would have helped a lot more. Uh, we do end up turning up the brightness in the bedroom. But I'm going through, and I don't know why I labeled in each individual light, but it did help uh, sort some stuff out later. I probably will be making each module have its own lighting scheme, which means it will get slightly convoluted if we do more than one room per outpost. So we're just about done with this part, and I believe now we, yeah, putting in a planet to go see how it looks actually on a planet, because normally it will be on a planet. So I was going to go for the pond, but I decided to go for this uh, mountainy area, and I spent way too long trying to f fix it into the ground, and I keep getting it wrong and slightly, ever so slightly, uh tilted the wrong way, tilted back or forwards, but I end up putting it on a uh, a large block plateau, it's kind of a, a sheet of large blocks, and having it rest there, since large blocks will snap to the uh, current orientation or the local orientation of the planet, that way if you drop it onto it, it will stay flat, and then copying it will keep its orientation, and I just use that for the uh, orientation of it. I also have a mod to have small blocks be, be static, so that w that's why it stayed in the air for a second. I did try more mountainy uh, placement, but it didn't it didn't matter ultimately. I'm just trying to get the look and feel of it, and obviously I need longer legs to it. So again, static small blocks, and unusually large legs. So we're about to jump into live mode, and we'll take a look at it in normal speed after lots of annoying paint, and oh my gosh, does it turn orange. I actually get tired of painting it orange, that I just painted the entire thing orange, which got rid of all the kitchen color, and all the, basically all the colors, it's now orange and gray. The bathroom tiles are still the weird bathroom tile, tile silver color, so. So let's jump into normal speed. 
safety mode, I guess. Not time lapse. So obviously the coloring I cut short a bit and I got a ton of details to do still to go, as I said. But as far as the general shape, there's a lot of working out to do on the details. The general shape is pretty... What is that? Oh, remnants of what I messed up in the painting. I love the, sh the shading on this building. But the feel of it's actually spot on to what it was going for. Just a very modular type house thing. Which can be deployed at any type of uh, any type of planet, atmosphere, or no. And I'm really enjoying it. So I guess the next part of this video, not of this video, but the next in the series, I think we'll make more buildings. Possibly just ripping this one apart into its own modules. So I don't know what I'm going to do with the window situation because they're so... Uh, how do I put it? Dependent on what's inside them? So we're definitely going to rip this apart and use this. But I don't think when I build modules, I'll take into account that there'll be windows. I'll just do that in post. Post modular pieces. Um, obviously, I haven't put the power anywhere, and this thing has no systems. What I actually figured for the systems in these buildings is they'll be outside. Basically, we'll have... Do I actually have that mod? Uh, yes, I do. Not cables. It's decorative. It's decorative cable and something. Decorative cables. So we'll use stuff like these and we'll run it out from the building itself into a generator, solar panel array, farms, and whatever else is on in this little kind of settlement thing. Kind of like a space homestead type thing. That's what that's what I'm going for. And the kind of first thought of this worked out well, that being the, the star system kind of stuff, and it does... Unfortunately, look really reminiscent of it. I was trying to stay as far away from that. But thank you all for watching. That will be it. Hope you've enjoyed. Subscribe for more Space Engineers building. I'll be doing a lot of it very shortly. And yeah, see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.